from Melbourne, Australia. And of course, it is Monday night here in Melbourne. And you know what that means? Monday night is ninja night. So we've got a real cracker for you. It is Bushido, one of the most extremely highly trained ninjas of the G.I. Joe Ninja Force. So what better way to crack on with a Monday night ninja night than by checking in with the subtle camouflage of Bushido. Um, if you can guess the album cover in the uh, corner there, we'll highlight your comment. If not, that's cool too, because it's ninja night. Let's roll and head on over to the Rob Vegas Technology Center and see what we can dig up. So there he is, the man with the plan and with a very odd hat um, and a very odd color scheme. It's Bushido. Um, the good news here is we don't have to put him back together or assemble this troop. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, especially because these Ninja Force guys don't have the mechanism to pull them apart. So if anyone knows anything about this, um, and how to, in the event of a O-ring failure, because of course he does still, he does still roll with an O-ring. Uh, if anyone knows anything about that, please let me know in the comments below. Um, he's an odd looking chap. Let's not, um, yeah, let's not discount that. Um, he does have some ninja action, so his right arm, you can swivel it up, and he just ninjas it. The left arm is normal bog standard, very good. I wish on a lot of these they didn't do that, like, I mean, that's cool, but it makes it hard to pose him um, or like set him up in a cool battle uh, ninja orientation and I think like obviously like if you look at his waist um, or the bottom of the torso there's a big gap between where his buckles made up so I'm not a huge fan of that um, but yeah, he's got a cool hat. Like, imagine you're working at, like, say, KFC or Macca's or something, and this dude rocked up in the drive-thru. You'd be like, that's a wild hat, dude. Something that's cool, um, is... By some twist of fate, this is all of the o original OG. I was going to say it, but I'm held off. But not nah, there it is. That is all of the original accessories for Bushido. Um, the uh, figure stand. I'll have to find that because um, that'll be somewhere. But essentially, that is basically everything you would have got back in 1993 when you busted old Bushido out of his um packet he's got his corn hacking sickle thing he's got two swords which oh yeah they're reissues of other ones but Hey, they're pretty cool. And if you look at old mate Bushido, say with this one. He's got his badass hat on. 
you know, you're not going to knock his drink over. You're going to be like, hey, man, um, I'll buy you another one, son. So that's good. Um, these two things, I believe, um, like they do claim to be some kind of knives, um, but they just seem to be something you'd use to block a sword with, so, for example, if you ended up in a duel with old mate, Bushido, after knocking over his drink, he might use that um, uh, secondary weapon to block a sword, because you could see like a sworded Gisco Kachink. No, actually, it wouldn't do that. Um, and it, he'd, he'd like catch it. He'd just be like, No, man. I've blocked your blow using that thing. So I'm not sure why he came with two of those. Strange choice, but strange times. Um, but yeah, he's a cool figure. Like, colour aside, um, it's a very strange choice. And ninja -y spring action, whoop, spring action gimmick. Yeah, not a hundred percent on that. Um, and of course, the worst bit is like if rubber rot sets in on this duty, we we were in big trouble. And um, I find that on a lot of these Ninja Force guys, that they don't have that accessibility to um, you know fix them. So, like, this was a, I'm pretty sure this dude was a second gen Ninja Force sort of dude. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I, I just worry that he's going to fall apart because of the weirdness, or well, this weirdness of the figure in general, but of course... Because he doesn't have the accessibility to fix him um, as I would like. Um, we have all of his accessories here. The figure stand. We'll find that in good time. Um, but yeah. An odd one for Ninja Knight. But it is what it is. And you just got to roll with it or get rolled over and get your ninja on so there we have it so there we go that's everyone's favorite ninja force figure bushido um he came with a lot of cool stuff and a very odd hat um but that's how he rolls what i'd like to know from you out there in the gi joe community is there a way to fix these figures that don't have the back uh, unscrewing port or backpack peg because of course old mate Bushido he does not have that so if his o-ring goes he is in a whole world of hurt there's um, yeah, it's not going to work out well for anybody. Um, so yeah, hit me up in the comments and tell me how much you like Bushido as well. Because why the hell not? On top of that, Monday night, Ninja night, everyone get your Ninja on. Let's roll. It's Rob Vegas checking in from Melbourne, Australia. It's Monday night here. Yeah, I know there's a time difference. But of course, what happens on Monday night? It's Ninja Night. 
and tonight we've got a cracker. It's Bushido, one of the most finely renowned ninjas of <laughs> Bang. <clears throat>